Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. I decided to record this video at almost 10 p.m. <laughs> and it's because my son is uh, sleeping and uh, I'm in the garage, as you can see. You can probably will hear the AC turning on very, very soon. But anyway, my husband, every Friday, he um, gets, um, gets me new wines to, for the channel, which I appreciate. Um, and it's good because it's like a blind date for me because I don't know what he is going to bring me. And it's kind of a surprise. But today I have two or of the apotic wines, and it's um, kind of a bummer because I'm going to show you a Cabernet uh, Sauvignon um, from Apotic, and I tasted the one from the Manoche Manoche Trois, and I really like it. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one, but let's see. Let's start with that one because the second one that I I'm going to test is one of my favorites. But let's try this one. This one is the Apotic Cab Cabernet Sauvignon, and I don't know if I'm saying it right. Sauvignon, and this one is from 2019. It's a, it says that is smooth and full body from California, of course beautiful label let's see i don't know what to say about the the um i don't know what to say about the smell but let's see because when i open it it wasn't too you know pleasant i don't know i don't know that smell it's kind of throwing me off but anyway, smells uh, very fermented, which I don't know. I don't know if I like that in a wine, but um, let's see. The smell is, like I told you, but you know what? Forget about the smell. This tastes really good. It's um, kind of, um, it says in the bottle, it says dry, but it's more like in the sweet side. Probably what I am smelling is the grape um, mixing with vanilla because I feel vanilla and I remember trying the crotch from Apotic and thinking that it wasn't my favorite and it was with vanilla as well. Um, I am feeling that spiciness, but it goes down really smooth. It doesn't bur burn my throat at all. So forget Let's not judge so much the smell or the scent because it's, it's really good. I think this will go really well with pasta and a chocolate cake. Talking about that, um, I am taking some online classes and I am going to, uh, well, I already started. Um, it's about um, cake baking and decorating. And I'm really excited, but I am um, a little bit of scared because I love baking. But the decorating part, I don't know if I will be good at it. But anyway, let's not just, uh, you know, Let's not think negative. 
everything is gonna be okay and I am doing this for my family for our future um, for me professional for me um, but I'm really excited it's something that I like but I never try it because um, I had so much friends um, doing it and I didn't want to take over their you know um, how you say that their field but now I don't have anyone around me and believe it or not I told one of my great great friends and she supported me so much and she she said if I needed help to call her I didn't expect that but she's amazing okay so the next let's let's come back let's come back to the wines um this one um wine this is a blend but this is a white blend is from 2019 it says vibrant and refreshing and is um it has 12.5 i forgot about this one the other one has um 13.5 so this one doesn't have the cork but let's just open it this is meant to be refreshing and i already tried this one which is why i told him to get it again because i ended the bottle <laughs> in two days but it's like the ones that you really like to see when you put it in a glass because they have like bubbles it's so cute and the the label is amazing i don't know if you know my husband's name is anthony so the a is really nice uh, having the a over there so this one is he says refreshing bright vibrant and crisp with floral floral scent another one that i don't know what's wrong with my nose today but it's really <sighs> fermented scent I know it's wine of course but it's like mm. but anyway I know how it tastes and I already have my notes here for you um, this one is a, a blend of Chardonnay Riesling and Pinot Grigio and it's uh, really bright um, it has the bubbles that I love is uh it will be great for a mimosa um or a blend with fruits um like a san white sangria and it's crisp when i went to the website to see what crisps crisp was it is acidic and dry and let me tell you let me taste it again to be sure yes it is really acidic not well it's, it's dry yes but it's not a bad dry like I will say but it has prepare for this pineapple it has pineapple taste with which I love this is the the, the one thing I love about this is the pineapple taste because it has the feeling when you eat a pineapple you feel like a little bit of burning but it's uh, that type of burning that makes your mouth like water water watering something like that you see it's kind of mm, it refresh you so much um that's it guys i hope you like the video remember this is Cabernet Sauvignon and Apotic White Winemakers Blend i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye